one way to get the increase on the look of the meat in 60 of old incandescent bulbs. And uh, I'm running a, sorry, in this case I'm running 200, there we go, 220 uh, ohm resistor for the, uh, for the warm white. And uh, in this case the red one, which runs at lower voltage, I'm actually running a 470. Sorry, so starting with the arm, um, one of the things I learned last time is the alignment pins aren't necessarily your friend. Um, I had to do a lot of sanding and filling to line things up, so this time I took them off and did a couple test fits and uh, had some better results. No. Anyway, so I added this tube here and put the LED in it um, because the kit comes with these little little lenses here for the navigation lights on the end of the uh, end of the spars. So I opted to do the tube and have the light shining through. So that's why why I've done that. <clears throat> in order to do that, have to uh, excuse me, have to grind away here uh, where the alignment pin was and kind of deepen a little bit. So I use my Dremel and uh, this grinding tool. So I'm gonna use this three thirty seconds uh, bit to uh, excuse me to drill the hole in here where I'm going to have the light come out. Okay, see? Not so bad. <sighs> Next, I use the eighth inch bit. And uh, this tube I have is not the correct size, so I need to ream it out a bit. So I gotta be a little bit gentle so it doesn't melt everything. All right, you don't have to go too deep either because once you've reamed it out, the LED fits in there uh, very nicely. And then I use uh, an X-Acto handle with the little saw blade. And uh, I don't actually measure this, I just uh, cut it where it feels right. <laughs> Next step, you need to sand the end so it'll actually uh, fit in the uh, in the spot we want to use. So next up, I'm going to do some electronics. Um, what I have here is my, pardon me, sorry, I had to switch my camera, uh, warm white LED, which runs at uh, 3.2 to 3.5 volts and is 25 milliamps. Pardon me, so I'm just uh, reading off my little chart. Anyway, so as I said, Boyd on his Trekworks channel already has a uh, calculation for figuring out uh, resistor values. In my case, I'll be running 9 volts. And uh, I haven't done electronics uh, in the last oh, year, so I kind of forgot a lot of stuff. So I cheated, used my iPad mini, went to uh, uh, Google and found a, pardon me, found a calculator where I just, there we go, we'll zoom that in, where I can actually just punch in my information. And uh, yeah, so this has been helpful, but uh, you should check out uh, Boyd's Trekworks channel and there's details on how to crunch this yourself without using a uh, tool beyond a calculator. So. As I said, for the warm white LED, we're using a 220 ohm resistor. I apologize for the fuzziness. Um, it doesn't seem to let me, uh... oh, there we go, let me focus. Anyway, so I've already pre-tinned the, uh, the LED, which is applying solder to the leads. I can do the same. 
excuse me, get to put my glasses on here. Do the same with the uh, resistor. So, get a little solder on the uh, on the tip of the iron there, and uh, this is flux core solder, so it uh, the flux allows the solder to flow. Oops, and there we go. And done and done. So next step, I, I actually have to put my LED or my resistor at the LED. Some do, some don't. So uh, you know, whatever works for the individual. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And just like that, resistors on the LED thing. I'm actually using magnet wire, which you can kind of probably just kind of see there. Really, really thin stuff. I've had luck with that, so I'm going to use this little lighter. And uh, there we go. Now, one of the drawbacks, though, is the tip gets carboned up, so I just uh, use a little sandpaper. And. Uh, that should allow me to tin the end. So let me get those prepared and I'll be back in a second. There you have it. I jumped ahead a little bit and went ahead and installed the uh, LED uh, for the domes, or for the dome, pardon me. Um, I use hot glue to uh, to do my installation. You see it just holds the uh, LED in there and you know, hold my wiring down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the green navigation light and come back in a second. Look at that. LED, LED. So it's a little bright, so this little camera's not the best for picking it up, but as you can see, nice simple wiring. Look at how small it is. Huge space saver. 